Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hashiv Education and today we are going to learn how to make animations in 2D Unity game. So to make animation in 2D Unity games, you need sprites. So I got the sprite uh, just by downloading it from Google. So you can just Google free uh, sprites available for 2D games and you should be able to get it through the first link itself. So in this, uh, there is uh, one boy and uh, all the animation for walk run jump idle dead so whatever you need for your game everything is available here so in today let's learn how to make our player walk so to do so uh, let's uh, take all these images which is for walk only so we'll create new folder in our unity game uh, this would be called sprites and then drag and drop your walking boy right and then uh, I'll be uh, making a transition from a walk to idle and then idle to walk so for idle uh, we don't need the whole uh, images because it will be same so we'll just take one image which will be for player when he's idle so let's so let me show you how simple it is in unity to create animation using using these sprites so what all you have to do is select all of these and just drag it in your scene over here so wherever you want to keep your player just drag it in the scene and then it'll ask you to name your animation so I don't want to keep it in this folder in assets I'll create one more folder name animations and then in this animation folder, I'll name this uh, animation walk and let's just save it. So if you see over here, I have one more animation folder and then there is two animation. One is this and one is this. So if you see in our tabs, there is animator uh, tab and then there is animation tab, right? So in animation tab, if you see, we have now this walk six sprite so this is the uh, animation we just created and we can test it by just clicking this play button so if you play this our player would be walking so there you go we have our player walking you can hit play button in your unity game and our player is walking so let's do animation transition so i want my player to stand still like he should be idle when when the game start and on some condition he should start walking so for that uh, let me let me show you how we can do it. So we should uh, let to show you properly. I'll move my animation tab over here and We have walk animation. I'll create one more clip and that would be our idle animation Right and then From our sprites folder. I'll take this image which I took and then move it over here so I could have just moved all of those I idle you know sprites i had but i didn't want to do that because it is similar if you want to do like jump animation then you can just uh, you know take all these uh, images and keep it in your sprites folder and then drag it from here to this animation bar so as soon as you drag it over here your walk animation uh, sorry your idle animation or jump animation or whatever sprites you are create what based on your sprites it will create the animation so now we have our idle animation as well so in the animator folder if you see we, we we will be able to see all the animations we have currently so at the entry point we have this walk animation and then we have idle animations because of this entry point when we hit play for our game we can see our player is walking right so if i want to make our player to stand still when the game start i'll just right click on the idle animation and set it as default layer so you can do this, this and then you can see that this idle has become orange and when you play hit our player won't be walking our player is standing now right now if i want to make transition from idle to walk i have to add some condition based on some condition it, it should walk so in real game the condition would be like touching on the mobile screen or hitting some key in your keyboard but over here I'll just create a boolean and this would be walk boolean 
right so when we hit this boolean true then our player will start walking so to do so i'll just make a transition from here to to the walk animation and then similarly i need another transition from walk to idle animation so from idle to walk animation i want this walk boolean to be true so let's set this so walk boolean true we'll set it and from walk to idle animation when you select this transition uh, arrow then you will be able to see this uh, this inspector at the side and if you scroll down you have this conditions tab so condition will select this walk condition so all you have to do is click on plus and from walk to idle i want to have it as false so when we are setting our boolean to false our player will stop walking and when we are setting our boolean to true our player will start walking so this boolean will be using in our main game as well so in your main game you'll be writing scripts so in scripts you all you have to do is set this boolean true and false and your player will transition between walking and running uh, sorry walking and idle uh, animation you can do similarly for jump and death uh, dead animation so all those animations uh, you can uh, the transition between animation can be done over here in the animator tab like this so let's see so our entry point is idle and then on condition walk will be walking if it is true if it is false then we'll come back to idle so let's test it so our player is still because entry point is idle and as soon as i hit this uh, walk to true our player will start walking here is walking and then if i set it to false our player will be still again so because i had while dragging dropping i had dropped it at different locations so all these all those things can be set uh, you can set all those things from here so but yeah that was the main concept uh, to make our player um, to animate our players in 2D games Unity, you need sprites and this is how you can transition between animation. Of To create the animation, it's extremely similar, simple. In the animation tab, you just create a new uh, clip and then add your uh, sprites in that clip. That is it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe and like and comments. And yeah, see you later.